Hello, and welcome to all. From the terrible moments of the embarrassment in the company of the incorrigible Donald Trump to the incredible and very violent scuffle on a German TV set, without forgetting, of course, the torrid cleavage at the Opera House, here are the 10 craziest moments of Angela Merkel, the most powerful woman in the world. Let's start. If we had to summarize Angela Merkel to one quality, it is her incredible impassivity, even in front of the most annoying situations or the hottest. But what is interesting to note is that this legendary calm is not new. On this sequence, which comes to us from the past, we can see indeed that the most powerful woman of the world always possessed a very calm and pondered temperament, even when she has to face a real fury. The video, recorded on a German television set, shows us a debate that starts out calm and then becomes very heated between the opponent of abortion, Karen Struck, and then Federal Minister for Women and Youth, Angela Merkel. When the politician was to speak, she was first interrupted several times by her interlocutor. The latter became more and more vehement as the host of the program tried to silence her. Then suddenly, while nobody on the set expected it, Karen Struck gets up and in an excess of insane fury, she lifts her skirt and takes off her microphone that she throws towards the public. Then, as if that was not enough, she also throws a glass of wine, always in the direction of the spectators. The public is splashed with wine and the glass, having broken, injured a young man in the hand, making him bleed profusely. The furious fury finally left the TV set to the great relief of all, including Angela Merkel, who, although she was hot during the hysteria of the activists, did not flinch an eyebrow, nor gave the impression of having been afraid. On the contrary, it was literally with an Olympian calm that the young lady continued her show as if absolutely nothing happened. Election campaigns have always been an opportunity for candidates of all sides to engage in real warfare, where almost all blows are allowed. And our dear Angela Merkel, as a member of the government, will hardly have escaped the small pettinesses of her opponents and contradicts of the political scene. Take a look at this clip and see for yourself. It shows just how small-minded and narrow-minded some election candidates can be. Vera Langsfeld, a member of the conservative Christian Democrats, thought she had a brilliant idea by displaying the German Chancellor's chest on an election poster. On the poster, Angela Merkel can be seen in a plunging neckline in a photo taken during a party in an opera house in Oslo, Norway. But what was even more shocking was the caption that Vera Langsfeld had put directly on Merkel's breasts, which said, we have more to offer. This very disrespectful message had shocked a large part of the German public opinion, and the candidate behind this infamy was castigated by the members of her own party. After the sordid affair of the Oslo Opera's cleavage, here is the pathetic story of Angela Merkel's bikini. In this sequence, we will see that despite the fact that she is literally considered the boss of Western Europe, the German Chancellor is above all a woman who likes as much as you and me to spend some good time with her family and, if possible, far from the paparazzi. But as you can see, the paparazzi don't give the brave lady any respite, even following her to a private beach to steal these few moments of intimacy with her husband. Mrs. Merkel was indeed spending her vacations with her dear husband on the Italian island of Istria, probably trying to rest from all the stress and fatigue she had accumulated lately. We can see her swimming quietly in the famous waters of the coast of Naples, wearing a very sober swimsuit and wearing very basic flip-flops on her feet. It's true that this summer look is a big change from the austere, solid color suit she wears when she has to face Trump or Putin. But as you can see, Angela Merkel's motto remains simplicity above all. We were telling you earlier about the duels between Merkel and the former American president, Donald Trump. So here is one of the most embarrassing scenes of the entire career of the German politician. It was 2017 during an official visit of the chancellor made to the United States, where she was invited by President Trump to the White House. The two heads of state had spoken at length on several European issues, and especially the migration policy of Germany. But it must be said that the result of these talks had obviously not been to the taste of the incorrigible Trump, who literally sulked like a child during the photo session. Pouting, the American president did not even look at Merkel's side and contented himself with quickly answering the journalist's questions. But the journalist had obviously already sensed the electric atmosphere between the two political leaders, which was not lost on anyone. But the tension became literally palpable when the moment came to close the meeting with the traditional handshake between the leaders. But this was without counting the incorrigible Donald Trump, who literally refused to give his hand to greet his guest because of his sulkiness. What plunged, of course, the latter in an extreme embarrassment, especially as she had dozens of journalists in front of her who was shooting flashes. 
But as usual, the great lady of Germany did not let any weakness show on her impassive face, except perhaps a certain embarrassed amusement finally, like that of an adult who smiles at the stupidity of a child taken in fault. It is really very rare that Angela Merkel can leave her legendary austerity to start telling jokes. It is not really the temperament of the Germans, who are more used to working again and again, and who never really have time to have a good laugh. Let's go, just for the antidote. Have you ever seen or even heard of a German comedian in your life? Don't worry, because the German people are not almost insensitive to laughter, as you will see on this hilarious sequence of Angela Merkel. The images are taken from a political meeting in which the German chancellor had to speak, and you will see that the old lady, usually so sober and very tight-lipped as far as her language is concerned, is not going to keep her tongue in her pocket. At the moment, when she was speaking in front of the public, she let herself be inflamed by her verb and pronounced a swear word. It is true that it was hardly a bad word or a rude word, but still, hearing the term shitstorm from Angela Merkel's mouth has its effect. The crowd, which at first was totally dumbfounded, ended up applauding the federal chancellor, who knew how to cheer up the gloomy atmosphere that reigned in this boring political conference. If there is one thing that this dear Mrs. Merkel hates, it is to be mistaken for someone else, especially if it is to confuse her with Brigitte Macron. This hilarious sequence was recorded during the commemoration of the centenary of the Armistice of Rathone. We can see that two French and German heads of state come in to greet an old lady aged 101 years who had attended the celebrations. The centenarian was very moved to shake hands with President Emmanuel Macron, so much so that she confused Angela Merkel with Brigitte Macron. The German chancellor tried to make her understand who she really was with rudimentary French, but it must be said that the old lady was still so overwhelmed by having met Macron that she hardly paid any attention. The adorable little centenarian only had eyes for Macron, and she probably didn't even suspect that there were also Germans there to celebrate the armistice with the French. But as you can see, Angela Merkel still managed to keep a smile on her face, even if the one she was mistaken for is not what you would call a Miss Universe. She could even be happy that she was not mistaken for Otto von Bismarck, which would have created a real diplomatic incident. It is said that the eyes are the mirrors of the soul, but for Angela Merkel, they represent much more, as you will see on in the sequence. This is a compilation of murderous glances that are the prerogative of the federal chancellor, who has penetrating and very destabilizing eyes. Take a good look at this look, unique in its kind, and which succeeds without difficulty in translating her darkest thoughts. The woman who is aptly called the most powerful woman in the world has real 12-gauge eyes, with which she does not hesitate to fire at the world's greatest. Whether your name is Vladimir Putin, Donald Trump, or even Recep Tayyip Erdogan, you will be entitled to the same inquisitive and literally spine-chilling gaze. No need to fight against her raptor eyes, which have the gift of turning strong men into fragile little frightened prey. Of course, Mrs. Merkel only reserves this murderous look for those who deserve it, which has the gift of quickly putting them in their place. Presidential protocol can sometimes turn into moments of intense embarrassment, as in this amusing sequence from Germany. It was during an official visit to Berlin of the French president, Francois Hollande, and during which he had the right, of course, to the traditional rolling out of the red carpet. But at the time of reviewing the military ban, the French president missed a step and found himself in the place that should have taken his companion, Angela Merkel, staggering with embarrassment on the purple carpet. Hollande did not really know what to do, nor where he should walk, but the German chancellor quickly redirected him to his place, in a rather abrupt manner for the time being. Mrs. Merkel literally pushed the French president to get out of the way, which, as you can see from the crimson color of his face, was terribly embarrassing for him. But it is necessary to say also that the gentleman was really surprised by the strength of grip that there was in the arm of the federal chancellor, what confirms finally that the German women are very strong physically. By dint of seeing in Mrs. Merkel an invincible and powerful woman, one forgets very quickly that she is only a human being at the end of the day, who also has her limits. But as the federal chancellor is a workaholic, she herself often overlooks this fact, which sometimes has unfortunate consequences. The chronically overworked politician did not even take a vacation to rest and recharge her batteries. But if her mind is strong enough to support this hellish lifestyle, her body has some limits, and it reminded her in a rather strange way. While Angela Merkel was attending an official ceremony with the new Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, she started to shake on the spot. Her whole body started to shake and tremble, as if she was suffering from an epileptic seizure, or worse, Parkinson's disease. But rest assured, this temporary crisis was only an effect of her intense fatigue and also of a lack of water. After a few thirst-quenching drinks and a good night's sleep, 
the federal chancellor was able to regain some color. The relationship between Donald Trump and Angela Merkel has never been a smooth one due to the differences of opinion that have always existed between the two heads of state. We all remember the puerile sulkiness of the American president who did not even want to greet the federal chancellor during an official visit she made to the White House. But we must say that this animosity is ancient history because it seems that Donald Trump has buried the hatchet. Take a look at this literally burlesque sequence, which only Trump has the secret. Indeed, when he met Angela Merkel at the G7 summit, he quickly went to greet her. This time, it's a slobbery kiss from those big fleshy lips that he will offer to the old lady. And that's it for today. Which of these 10 unusual and crazy Angela Merkel moments impressed you the most? Tell us in the comments, and if you liked this video, don't forget to put a like and subscribe and activate the notifications. See you soon for new discoveries out of the ordinary.